Yeah, same with fries. Six dollars for the drink. That's decent. All right, game one. Who do we have on? It's your boy Kalito. All right, so we got Kalito versus. Oh, we got Pain versus Rocks. All right, we go. And do I know any of these players? I don't think so, right? I don't think I don't. Pain's attempted some of the Dragon's Lair tournaments, but not too many, as far as that I'm concerned. Okay. But last time I saw him at a Dragon's Lair tournament, he was a Ganon. All right. However, I know that he's been working on his Link. He's been playing that a lot. Got a pretty decent link going on here. Okay. He's, he's still learning, but he's he's going a good way. That's good. I mean, I think in this matchup, especially, I think this is a very even matchup, honestly. I mean, I think I think honestly, maybe Cloud has the favor a little bit more, but I think that honestly, a good link player and a good Cloud player, I feel like just they know the matchup so well on each other that it's it's gonna be pretty even. Yeah, I personally think that it's in Cloud's favor, just a little bit because he has a lot of speed to overwhelm Link since he's a uh, since he's a slow person. Yeah, and. Uh, he goes a lot off bombs and boomerangs and spacing, and Cloud can just easily break that with a power shield. That's and true. Dash in. I think this is definitely better than the Toon Link matchup because the Toon Link matchup is abysmal for uh, Cloud. I think because like not, I mean, uh, it's abysmal for Toon Link, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, because Toon Link does, even though you know they play much almost function the same. At least Link has the close up pressure to like, get away from Cloud. But Toon Link is. The range is just too short. Yeah. Even though his launch is high, it's, that's not that good against Cloud. He's also pretty light. He's exceptionally yep. much lighter than yes, Link. Yes, yes, for sure. Well, let's see. A little bit of edge guard going on from Cloud, but not too much. He's keeping it right in the neutral. That's always Ooh. good. That might be. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Had to read, didn't get the punish. It was a good 50 50, but he unfortunately didn't really follow up well. Yeah. Now, I think. Now, see, with this kind of play, I think right now, I think that Cloud really needs to, like, blow a load on one limit right now because I don't think, yeah, because on, on this kind of occasion, I think that's good because I think he'll have enough damage either dealt to him or dealing to Link in order to, like, get back. See, I think the fear of the limit is much is uh, much greater, though, and the, all the extra bonuses because the speed is what really gives him the edge in this matchup, speed and range, uh -huh. and that he can have easily abused the speed with a uh, limit, okay. and he can always recover on the stage, so he's not going to get gimped out by a nair or he's not going to get gimped by an arrow. That's true. I mean, but, in my opinion, I think... So my opinion with the Cloud's Limit thing is that I don't like anything that makes my opponent play careful because then they're kind of playing a little smarter. I want them to kind of be like kind of reckless. I want them to, like... With, with the fear of the limit thing, of course, you know, if they go into it, that's great. But I really do think that that's... And plus, Link kills from the top, usually. So I don't think the the recovery thing is really relevant in the matchup too much. It depends on the style of the Link, but regardless, that was a pretty good that was a pretty good up smash cover in the, uh, the neutral getup on there. Ooh, there we go. Ball out, out there. there. All right. Now, this is a really bad position Ooh. for Link. He does not want to be above Cloud at no. any cost. Uh, with the high limit or the high rage, I should say, that uh, Link's got. It's going to be kind of hard to go for those like bread and butter combos on Cloud, but, yeah. you know, any damage is better than no damage. <laughs> All right, maybe and maybe kill throw? Nope, Link's a little, he's a little heavy. I don't, see, I think just just waiting on the up air for, for Cloud is just better, because you, you, you can always assume pretty much that your opponent's going to, you know, dodge in the air. For the right. most part, and that's, what, that's what Payne's been doing this entire time. So I wouldn't see him be breaking sequence unless he was, you know, very good at uh, what's the word I'm thinking of. Uh, yeah. There oh. you go. <laughs> yeah, that fair is gonna take it. Yep. All right, he's got limit. He's got 45% on it. Let's see what Link can do here. And uh, ooh, ooh that, this could be a good. Uh, uh, well, he blew the limit. So. He could have taken. He blew the limit, so that's what matters. Yeah. Cloud's at now is gonna be at a disadvantage. I'm personally a bigger fan of the more risky plays early on in the stock because that's that's really what's gonna get you. Like, if both players are evenly matched, if both players are careful, usually the better character's gonna win. But it looks like the pain is sort of a little bit more skilled, I'd say, and just in terms of the matchup. Uh, but because Cloud's not really like going in too much. I mean, he's it's hard for Link or it's hard for Cloud to come in, obviously. But Ooh, oh, that's gonna take Toad's it. Toadstool's gonna take it though. Yeah. That just goes to show that the match can turn at any time. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That was that was some pretty good control coming in from Pain. His link was his link was boxing him out a little bit, and then when he was getting up close, he just kept on pushing him out and pushing him out and pushing him out. Yeah. And he called out a couple. Of, he's got he's definitely got the air dodge read on there. He just needs to get the better punch so he can actually get a punish on him now, or yeah. something that's even fatal. So I think that this is definitely a close matchup. This is definitely close on their part. But now he has to stay on stage. Yeah, I think. Oh, has, yeah, Ch oh. changing character here is definitely not the strat. Because, no. I mean, he played it well, he just messed up towards the end. Or rather, it's just sort of unfortunate with the footstool. 
He, yeah, he has to panic and not just immediately use the second jump. He could have easily gotten back with just a spin attack. That's right. great for a vertical recovery. Ooh, and we are oh, man, he was going to fast forward to death. This is a strong Ooh, start. Ooh, that might be it. Nah, no, nope. not quite. But it's definitely a strong start for Link. Yep. Going just sitting there waiting. Yeah, that's exactly what he has to do in this matchup. Well, the Cloud's not doing really... Ooh, Ooh that was right into the... This is yeah. what I'm talking about. Just going for those, like, wild... Because like, no, if I'm, you get a limit early, I feel like you need to use it. I'm kind of wondering if he just meant to cancel that. Maybe? I mean, it could be possible that he tried to just do Blade Beam on the stage, and then it's like, oh, it's Limit Blade Beam, whatever. Yeah. Oh, man. And a little overzealous to that uh, <laughs> spin attack, but... I could see why, though. I mean, maybe he's going in for maybe a dash attack or something, but... Yeah. At that point, if I was Cloud, instead of just waiting that out... Like, if you're not doing... If you're doing nothing with Cloud, you're doing it wrong. Charge because limit. you need a limit. You need, like, yeah. every single time. Charge the limit, or you should be getting ready for your punish. Right, right, right. Because there, there is no... I mean, that, that's why Cloud is such a, like, high rank character. He's, he has no... Empty time, which All is right. good. Yeah. Ooh, All right, man, that's not gonna Let's quite take it. Put a little pressure on him by by uh, constantly charging that limit there. So. Ooh, oh, right, right again. A roll, out. a roll into reverse forward smash probably would have taken it for Cloud, but you know, that's sort of part of the learning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> just old. <the> old. <laughs> All right, I got you. <laughs> oh, bad position for Link. Doesn't have a second jump. Mm. Gets grabbed up in the air again. Can we get another up air string? And. Ooh. And let's see here. Oh, I, nice. I think that's Cloud, good. I think Cloud should be uh, worrying a little bit more about the limit right now as he's putting on pressure. You think so? I think, honestly, I think this is what the plan I would be doing because he needs Link. The more Link is alive, the more chance he's just going to wall him out, you know? I feel like the longer the match goes on, the worse it is for Cloud. In, see, I, in the Link matchup. I mean, in, in any other case, I'd say probably better for Cloud, but... I feel like that he might benefit a little bit more if he throws him off and pushes him off because he knows he's not going to get the kill. He knows he's not going to go for the edge guard. So instead of just sitting there and, and waiting that he should be charging the limit so he can get more speed, and then he could go off and kill him with an air and make it back no matter what. That's true. And that was that was good, exactly. Got him with the back air, though. Can't run off with a uh, dash attack just like that. At least I think that was a dash attack. <laughs> I didn't quite see. Uh... And oh, the good thing he didn't do the limit because I would have been really sad. Or the, yeah. the cross slash because a lot of a lot of newer clouds make that mistake where they just oh it's like 20 plus damage so am I I'll just do the bread and butter but it only works at so many combos uh, so many yeah. percentages. Not to mention that he could use that limit for so much more. Yeah. Because at 82 percent, what are the odds that he's going to get jabbed off the stage again or be put in a bad exactly? Position? Yep. It's it's definitely more opportune to use that at a pivotal point rather than just to use it. I know I've been saying the opposite this entire time, but I think early enough in the match it's worth it. Ooh, another dash attack. Didn't get a punish though. Oh my god. And ooh. Oh, he ooh. Ooh. almost if he had that shield break. continue shielding, maybe shield break, but if he didn't shield break, he could have killed him with a forward smash. Oh, and that's going to take it the down that's smash. That's going to take it. Front hits a down smash. Looks like we're 1-1 one, one here. Now, again, I don't know if this uh, pain is the, is the cloud or the... The, uh, he's the link. He's the link. Okay. The other, so the cloud. I don't know if he plays anyone else. Rocks are. Um, I would maybe consider switching. I mean, he's he's just not doing enough. Like just barely not getting in there enough. I but think that if he starts pressuring him a little bit more and starts charging a little bit more limit and keeping it, yeah. that he that he will be fine in this matchup. Yeah. Because the biggest for the biggest struggle about this matchup is Link touching the ground. What's he gonna do to touch the ground? He's gonna throw a bomb. You can up air and catch it and smack him. What's yep. he gonna do? He's gonna fall in there. You can power shield it, grab him, throw, or you get a shield punch out of yep. it. He's going to down air. Oh, that's like 48 of our ending black friends. Yeah. Three F smash. It's it's definitely advantageous oh, of keeping these kind of characters in the air where they where they can't really utilize themselves. And Cloud's good, just as good on the air as he is on the ground. So. All right, the lilac pick. Lilac. This is I would say this is much more beneficial than Cloud. He's actually. This is actually not a good map for Link. You think it's not a good map for Cloud? No, I think it's a great map for Cloud, but oh. a bad map for Link. And this, so mm. it was what? It was Cloud's counter pick? I think this, I think he did well with that. Okay. I don't remember how well the uh, how bad I should say uh, Cloud's Clum Hazard is uh, on grabbing the ledge in this day. I know this this stage is sort of a little notorious for some upbeats, just not. Uh, <laughs> exactly, well, commentator's curse. Yeah, I was gonna say, well, that's just because he got hit. He didn't wait enough time before using the, using the uh, hook shot. Yeah. If not, I would have snapped. But now he's playing off of a major deficit, so. This is, yeah, to... and again, this is one of those things where if you have a limit, I would just use it now. There's no point waiting at this point. Yeah, because he has a stock advantage. Yeah. But we'll, but we'll see what he does with it. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing a down throw into jump weight 50 50 up B because Clem Hazard does. Limit Clem Hazard actually does a surprising amount of damage. And see, instead of grabbing there, I probably would have just done Clem Hazard because it does, it does do a lot of damage. At this point, 
why even try to go for the kill when you can just build as much damage as you want? And if you go to kill, that's great. You got a whole nother life to play with. I mean, but also you have to think about the biggest concern with Cloud. He can get at zero, and then if he gets thrown off stage, he can get killed if he's not too comfortable with recovering. And seeing by the fact that he doesn't like going for a lot of edge guards, I don't think he's too comfortable in the air. That's true. A lot of Clouds are like that. Italian Panda Cloud is very much like that. Yeah. My, my problem really with a lot of Clouds is that they go, because a lot of the pro people play with Cloud, Oh, there you go. There you go. See, the whole thing is that limit cross slash is not the end all, like beat all. No, it's not. I mean, blade, blade beam, beam is great. Is, blade beam is amazing, and secret secret Clim hazard is good too. I Actually, no one uses Clim it. hazard. It can, it's so fast that it's pretty much a pseudo Marth uh, recovery. It's yeah. dolphin slash. It's, just, it's essentially a short. So area. you can shield, you can you can shield drop and then use your climb, limit climb hazard while they're in their attack phase after you after you block, and it will kill them. Yeah, it is it is a deadly Marth dolphin yeah. slash. It, it really is. That, hey, that move is extremely back, underrated. Take a look at this. Pain definitely bringing it back. He's f fighting tooth and nail. Oh, oh, and that's gonna take that's it. it. That was beautiful play. Yeah, though. that was the first time that he. That was the first time that he even let go of that. <laughs> that's good. I mean, you know, he's adapting. It's exactly adapting. what I was saying before. He's sort of like uh, I can't really think of the word domesticating. Not not domestic, but making your opponent used to your plates. So not predicting either. No conditioning. Conditioning. Exactly right. Yep. All right. Two one going into rocks though. Oh yeah. 